Hi, my name is Dennis Quo, and you're watching the Step 2 Secrets Question and Answer Series. Why don't you give this question a try? A 22-year-old thin man is evaluated because of almost constant daytime sleepiness for the past 4 months. He claims to sleep well, averaging about 8 hours of sleep per night, although he has a common sensation of being frozen when he wakes up. He also mentions involuntary naps, which consists of sleep that comes on suddenly and without warning, often in the middle of activities, such as walking. The sudden naps happen once every day or two. The patient almost always falls asleep when the attack comes on, and he is awakened by a friend. The patient works as an office manager and relates no chemical exposures. Which of the following treatments is most appropriate? A. Nortriptyline B. Fluoxetine C. Diazepam D. Modafinil or E. A continuous positive airway pressure breathing device Think about it. The correct answer is D, modafinil. The patient most likely has narcolepsy, a sleep disorder that causes hyperinsomnia or increased sleepiness. So things to remember about narcolepsy is that it starts in adolescence or young adulthood. Also, the patient's sleep attack is sudden. Another thing to remember is narcolepsy is associated with decreased REM latency. Narcolepsy correlates with catalepsy which is a momentary paralysis without loss of consciousness that is often brought on with strong emotion. As in this patient, sleep paralysis or inability to move upon awakening or just before falling asleep may occur. The appropriate treatment for narcolepsy is modafinil or other stimulant type drugs such as methylphenidate or dextroamphetamine to allow for daytime functioning. E is not the right answer. Continuous positive airway pressure breathing devices are used in the treatment of sleep apnea. This condition is also in the differential diagnosis. However, the body habitus is not obese. Description of sudden sleep attacks and freezing attacks or sleep paralysis makes narcolepsy a more likely diagnosis. Dizepam and nortriptyline are not the right answers. Both of these drugs has sedative properties and would likely make things worse. Fluoxetine is not the right answer. Fluoxetine is an antidepressant in the SSRI category. Fluoxetine can cause insomnia as a side effect, but it is not used to treat narcolepsy. If you like these questions, please subscribe to our channel. We will be releasing new questions weekly. If you like the music, please check out the Study Music Project to help you relax and study for the USMLE Step 2 or anything else that you want to cram into your brain.